Good morning. There's nothing like San Francisco on a beautiful day like today. There is a Lord up above because we've been praying for sunshine all week long. So thank you. Well, thank you all for coming out to our ceremonial groundbreaking, which we're calling our first dig here in San Francisco. This is going to be our eighth full service cafe in the USA. We have four going on five in Canada. So we're delighted to be part of San Francisco. We have a big customer base in San Francisco and we're so pleased to be here to serve them. I have the honor of introducing our CEO, but before I do that, let me introduce Mayor Edwin Lee, the Honorable, who's out here to join us today. And may I say thank you to all of you, distinguished guests, those of you that came in from out of town, friends, and customers. We really appreciate you coming out today. So without further ado, may I introduce our CEO, the CEO of Savings, Arkady Kuhlman. Good morning, everyone. Um, delighted to be here, and uh, thank you, uh, Mayor Lee, for joining us uh, and guests. Um, if this is a groundbreaking, I have no idea what's going to happen when we actually open the place. Um, but it's, uh, it's nice to be here. I remember uh, four years ago, we did the Freedom Ride, and we, um, we rode around the Bay Area, and we listened to rock music. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do for an encore. But um, let me tell you that uh, ING Direct is all about helping uh, leading Americans back to savings. We want to basically help and encourage people to save their money. We want to make banking really simple and straightforward. And we think uh, a cafe location is the one place where you can actually uh, find out that there's real people working at ING Direct. So it's a place to have a cup of coffee, talk about money, meet neighbors, and get involved in what the conversations are all about on the street in San Francisco. So being part of the community and being part of the people that basically uh, help lead the, the right direction in terms of improving everyone's lives, I think ING Direct wants to be part of that story, and we think that that's really important for San Francisco. The other thing is uh, uh, San Francisco is no, known for a lot of great trends, and uh, as Cleo said, we've got eight cafes, and this location, I think we're going to try to do some unique things in terms of how we can basically bring money not only to the front pages of newspapers and, and electronic uh, tablets, but also how to basically get people to think differently about money and think about building communities in a different way, especially about empowering families to have more kitchen table conversations with their children. Right now, it's always amazing that there's more conversations now about sex and drugs than there's about money. And somehow you know that that world's got to change a little bit. So I think we want moms and dads to tell their kids actually how much they're saving and what they're actually doing with their money as opposed to what they should be doing with the rest of their lifestyle. The other thing I want to say is, is that um, San Francisco has been a great city. Uh, we have a lot of customers here. Um, and they keep talking about the Pete's Coffee they love. They love to basically have a place to hang out. And I think we're pretty excited in the next six months to get this place open to basically have those conversations and have some of those community involvements that we'd like to basically uh, encourage. So for you that came out today, I want to thank you. And let me now just turn over the mic for a few minutes to uh, our mayor, who is hoping that every one of these cars coming by are going to wave and uh, say something positive. So, Mayor. Thank you. Well, Mr. Coleman, thank you very much, and welcome to San Francisco, ING Direct. Uh, I want to say to you, if it was as simple as, uh, can I buy you a cup of coffee, and can you help me figure out my city's budget deficit? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Uh, that would be a great way to do things. Um, but I, I understand the concept. I know that ING Direct's had uh, been an online banking service. This is their uh, foray into doing more entrepreneurial uh, and inviting people to come into a beautiful building that we have here. Uh, some three floors that will be renovated. Uh, they're doing it the right way. First of all, they've got plant construction. There's 60 jobs being created here. So that's really important to this city. 60 ongoing jobs. There'll be a call center here. There'll be a cafe here. 
uh, but as importantly, the purpose. The purpose is that you invite people to start talking about their financial situation. I mean, I, I was jokingly telling the first thing I met uh, uh, a Cody was, hey, I know you, you do palm reading, and can you help me read my palm? Because I've got a budget deficit, I got a pension reform, you know, I, I got to figure something out here. Uh, and I know that in people's private lives, there's more financial education that we all need, and especially the families that are challenged here. And I welcome this type of concept uh, because it's going to be important for people to have f better financial advice, uh, have places where they can go and exchange that, and have really inexpensive banking services. I think that's a great combination. Arkady, I'm really uh, excited uh, to have read about this, to understand what it means, and it's a different kind of thing. It's one that you start making some smart investments, and that's what I think our country needs to do, is start making smarter investments, not spending on the first thing that kind of gleans about making a whole lot of profit that may not even be there. Uh, Tech-savvy approach, this is fantastic. The way you're doing it, you're using local businesses in the construction, you're using Pete's Coffee here to welcome, uh, it's a Bay Area company. In fact, I was telling you, my wife, her first job was at Pete's Coffee. And then to know and be introduced by Arkady's wife, who's also from Toysan. This is the eighth ING direct cafe in the country. Number eight is a very lucky number if you know the Asian culture. It means prosperity. And I know where this is going. By the end of this year, I'm going to be able to come over here and get advice myself because I'm still trying to figure out how in the heck did I take this job that pays less than my last one? And how am I going to figure that financial challenge out? Uh, but I hope, that, I hope that many San Franciscan, many Bay Area residents uh, look to this as an exciting place, uh, understand what they're trying to do here. It's a little different. Uh, they're keeping costs down. Uh, they're welcoming the understanding that we need, which is combining the technology that we have with the banking that we need and the savings that we need. The other thing that ING Direct is doing is they're representing corporate values. Uh, not only did I understand what they're doing here by using local firms, but they're also investing in our kids. They've already got uh, books for kids uh, through their foundation going. And that's a great, great promise to also have books and, and maybe a preschool uh, found, uh, agreement that will teach kids uh, early years in their savings as well. So get them started on financial understanding. That's all exciting to me, the blend of technology, and then to have a great cup of coffee here uh, in, a, in an atmosphere where right in the center of downtown, across from Charles Schwab and all the other financial institutions of the city, and to make sure that uh, we welcome a new generation of people thinking a little differently. That's always what we've done in San Francisco. I'm glad, and I really want to welcome ING Direct and their cafe here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Lee. When we started working on the San Francisco project last year, one of the things that we needed to make sure of was that we selected a design firm that understood Arcadi's vision for cafes. And not just understand it, but understand the whole principle behind it. We looked around and we interviewed about six creative firms and I'm very pleased to tell you that Pompeii AD is the firm that we selected as our design firm for cafes. And I'd like to introduce you to the principal and creative director of Pompeii, Ron Pompeii himself. And uh, we're at Pompeii AD, we're extremely pleased that they found us. But actually, there was a story that our, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a story that Arcadi told us the first time we met him. And it was a delightful story about a cafe that was in the middle of a city that was not only a place with its usual fare, it was also a place of business transaction, it was a place, place of socialization, and it was a place that really allowed the participants of the cafe to invent new things. And one of the things that was invented within its walls was double-entry bookkeeping. All of this 
happened while they were talking about their travels, uh, the, philosoph the philosophies that they uh, encountered abroad. And this cafe was uh, really a hub of commerce, culture, and community. And it existed in 16th century Florence. And when he told us this story, we thought, what a vision. What a tremendous vision to want to be influenced and inspired by uh, that historical event from so far away, so long ago, and how we could really apply that to ING Direct. ING Direct is a place that allows the community surrounding neighborhoods to be a part of it. And we think that this idea of merging commerce, culture, and community is really the way to go. It's really the way to allow people to feel comfortable, to feel informed, to learn, to socialize, to be with one, to be with one another comfortably, to uh, be, ex <coughs> excuse me, be exposed to information that is new to them in a very easy way to assimilate. So we're creating an environment in this building on three levels. There's a ground floor, a lower level, and a mezzanine that have various uh, opportunities for people to not only become involved with ING Direct Cafe, but also to be involved with one another. And we're really feeling that this is a, a very important aspect of the space and of the whole concept. So we want to recreate that which happened in that cafe in 16th century Florence by allowing this building, which is in, in, surrounded by the financial district, by um, Union Square, and by, uh, by uh, the uh, South of Market district, to really uh, weave a, a, a tapestry of uh, opportunities and events and in the end that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for a design, we're, we're looking for an experience and that experience will be an ING cafe experience like no other. So thank you very much. Thank you Ron. <clears throat> Likewise when we started looking out for a general contractor and an architect of record in the San Francisco market. One of the things that we make sure of, as Mayor Lee indicated, is that we support the local businesses. It's really important to us to, become, to be, be very quickly a part of the local community. So we looked around and we actually found an organization that has over 15 years of experience in this building. When you get inside, you'll see some drawings, some historical drawings of the building, and it's just amazing the transformation that has taken place. So the group, the general contracting firm, is based just down the street, and it's plant construction, and I have the honor of introducing you to Conrado Valve of plant construction. How you doing? Plant construction's been in working in San Francisco for 60 years and we've had actually almost 30 years experience practice on this building right here. We've been uh, through a couple incarnations and we're really excited to be working here now on the ING project. We've been uh, happy to work with this group. cleo has been great and we've got a very good team assembled so we'll be looking forward to the grand opening right before Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, Conrado. And this group is not going to be new to you. We are a full service cafe. And everybody that works in our cafes are bankers that just know how to make a great cup of coffee. <laughs> and our coffee is great because of a San Francisco brand. Pete's Coffee handles all of our coffee clear across the nation. And so I'm really pleased to introduce you 
to Peter Klein of Pete's Coffee. Hi, th this, is a, this is a great opportunity. Usually uh, the coffee guys don't get asked to come up and speak, so uh, I only have about an hour and a half worth of remarks planned. So it'll get you nice and cold so you can get in and enjoy some of our coffee. But as Cleo, <coughs> excuse me, as Cleo said, you know, this is our, our eighth cafe with ING, and we have a great partnership with them. Uh, needless to say, our Dutch heritage, Alfred Pete and ING, sort of, we go long back, but uh, that's not the reason they select Pete's, and that's not the reason we select them. I think they select Pete's in San Francisco, given our long history here. Uh, we roast our beans fresh every single day, about uh, you know, 20 miles uh, down the road, so very close. We'll be drinking a lot of fresh coffee here. We had a little argument, though, with ING about our program. They asked us to, uh, not to include the word fee in coffee. Um, so we, we finally got over that. They want to have a lot of very low cost model here, but we told them coffee and fee wasn't really quite related, but uh, they're okay with that now. So um, fresh coffee, great staff, a beautiful building. We're really pleased to be here and partner with them. Uh, and we hope uh, lots of repeat customers uh, enjoying a great coffee and a great banking experience. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. And thank you all for your patience, uh, for waiting out here. We're now going to cut the ribbon and invite you in. We will be giving tours, and we also have a taste of San Francisco waiting for you inside. So we're now going to get the scissors to cut the ribbon. Thank you. Thank you.